welcome to The Pulse, brimming as always with showbiz and entertainment news. Hi, I'm Jenny Buckley. You're watching Access Hollywood on Channel 6. Founded in 1947, the BAFTAs are in their 60th year. There are 24 awards to be given out tonight. The nominees and the celebrities will be sashaying down this very red carpet. And it's not just us who are here to meet them. Jennifer, you have a film coming out called Mother, and in it is the lovely Donald Gleeson. What was it like working oh, with I him? Oh, I love him. He's really funny. I, I think he's an amazing actor, so I was really excited. You've had an amazing career. And you're just in the middle of it at the moment. I don't know about the middle. You are. Hopefully you are in maybe three are. quarters. Looking back, what really, what are the standout moments for you? Wow. Um, I mean, the biggest, the biggest, the most proud moment really is making movies in the 70s. An Oscar winning actor, director, writer, producer. Was it difficult for you on The Accountant to turn off your filmmaker hat and just focus solely on the acting? You know, I had enough. Uh, it's it's an interesting and complicated part, so I had a lot to worry about with my own performance. It was nice to not have to worry about the rest of the ship. You know? One more before you go. That little scene in Wolf of Wall Street where you had to kiss Leonardo DiCaprio, oh, was that very difficult? So difficult to have to kiss him. Like, oh, do I have to do it? No, look, the truth is, he's divine. What I noticed just from watching the show today, you might be talking to somebody on a very sensitive subject, and then you're able to change tack to something very light-hearted. That must be a skill in itself. No, um, well, people say it is, but, you, you know, I know from my own upbringing at UTV, um, when there you were at the height of the troubles. We just couldn't do an hour long or half hour of doom and gloom. As a married couple, obviously some days can be difficult. You have your fights, it's natural. How do you hide that when you come in I and you might no be a little what, bit very up against you. each other? No idea what she, what is she referring about? to? Rude. Don't, we don't hide it, that's the thing. Did you notice that with any of the celebs? Was anyone late? Did they all abide by the well, rules? Well, one person was late. Tell uh, me who they were. I can't tell you who it was, but uh, I can't, I know. wish it. You just tell me, <laughs> no, I promise I'll keep the secret. It was Niall. It was it was like, Niall! Oh, 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 we let him away with the rules. Now it's a bit choppy, not as bad as our trip to Inish Turk, but hang on a moment because I have to do my Titanic dip. The great thing about Elgaro is that the town is actually on the beach. So you can go into the old town, do a bit of shopping, and five minutes later, you're sunbathing. We toured the country, compiling a list on your behalf. And now we're going to reveal the top 10 secret spots in Ireland once and for all. Tricked you? No, we're not. It's just a joke. Yeah! I will let you down. I will be singing. Girl, put your love. 